Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a third trimester maternity haul slash kind of a lookbook video. I'm actually doing it in collaboration with another YouTuber. Her name is Olivia Zappo. I think that's how you say her last name. I could be butchering it. I don't know. Um, but she has a YouTube channel and she does a lot of really cool videos. She's seriously the sweetest girl. And I think she moved from Ohio to California and I believe she lives somewhere down south, which I think is really cool because I've yet to meet another YouTuber that. I've actually never met another YouTuber, um, honestly, but um, I've never met one or done a collab with one that actually lives in California, so I think that's really cool. Um, she does a lot of different videos from fashion, beauty, home decor, things like that, so definitely check out her lookbook. It's going to be probably a little different and less awkward to watch because she is not 34 weeks pregnant like I am, so both of our videos are definitely fall-inspired-ish. I mean, we both live in California, so it's hard to be fall-inspired when it's not it's really cold outside today at 75 so yeah um, we try our best here so I will go ahead and leave the link to her video below and yeah let's go ahead and get on to the haul so the very first thing I picked up was this plaid tunic okay I think this is a tunic I'm not sure after I imported the footage of me trying the pieces on it looks a little short I think I don't know I thought I was gonna get away with it because it's not that cold in California right now or Los Angeles so I thought maybe just pairing this tunic with some flats would be okay but I should probably put on some leggings or jeans just in case it rides up and my belly's definitely gonna grow I have a few more weeks left so I'm only getting bigger um, so yeah I probably would wear this with some pants because it is a little short but I got this plaid little flannel from pinkblushmaternity.com and you guys they have the cutest stuff a few of you guys actually Actually told me about their website and they have the best maternity stuff by far online first off it's trendy I don't know when I got pregnant I was like right now I have to wear mom clothes I have to wear I don't know just regular plain t-shirts which I still wear occasionally but I don't know you guys know my style and I like to dress it up and take risks and stuff not that this tunic is a risk but you know um, I like it to be a little bit more trendy and all of their stuff is so unique and so cute and I actually ended up getting smalls and everything because I got a medium last time I ordered from them and all the clothes swam on me. So yeah, all of these clothes are smalls just for reference. But I paired that dress with some Dior Say lace up flats and when it does get a bit colder, I'll probably wear tights with boots or something like that. The second look is another one that I really like for fall, especially when it does get colder since I am delivering in December. It is gonna get a bit colder outside. I got this knit sweater again from Pink Flush Maternity and I love it. I think that I would honestly wear both of these pieces. Actually, I'll probably wear all these pieces after I give birth. Like, I'm not gonna just wear them for pregnancy and then give them away or wait till my next pregnancy or something. Which is why I really like their pieces because they look good on non-pregnant women too and they actually have a non-pregnant side to their site. Um, and I actually picked up some pants from them which are so comfortable. These are actually the only paternity jeans I'm planning on buying. So I only have a few weeks left and I don't really need jeans in Los Angeles. So these are really cool though because they go right above your belly button all the way up to underneath your boobs. So they're super comfortable. They're not constricting. And then I just paired them with some booties from Mod Cloth. So the third outfit is really simple. It's comfy. It's cozy. I mean, a lot, all of these outfits are pretty much comfortable. But this one I love. I don't have anything like this, but it's basically like an oversized, it like flares out like a... I don't know, like a Christmas tree, that sounds like a really bad reference, but the, the sweater is not constricting at all, which I think is cute, even if you're not pregnant. Um, it has like these little cutouts right here, and it's almost like a worn-in sweater. It's so soft, you guys. Like, I usually don't like knits because first off, they make you look bigger than you are, I mean, a lot of the time, and second off, um, they just are not like comfortable. They like scratch at your skin, but this one is not. It has really long sleeves, which I think is nice. I don't know, I just think it's cute to kind of have your sleeves like down the sides of your hands for winter. I don't know, I just like that. And then I also just kept the same jeans on as before and put on some loafers from H&M. So the fourth outfit is a little bit more Christmas inspired, not gonna lie. It's probably not something I'm gonna wear until December. I mean, I don't know, maybe not. I only have a few maternity clothes to choose from, so I'll probably be wearing it. But I got this sweater from motherhoodmaternity.com and they have like really good sales. When I went into their store for the first time, I wasn't really impressed by their stuff. It was like overpriced and it just looked like stuff I could get cheaper somewhere else. Um, but I browsed online and they had a sale, so what do you know, I bought a few things and I love this little sweater. I think it's so cute for Christmas especially and I actually paired it with their leggings, which if you're pregnant you need 
like maternity leggings and these are my favorite ones they are again from motherhood maternity and I think they're like $25 I wear them all the time at least when it's not hot outside and they go all the way above um, your belly button so they're super comfy and then I just put on another pair of booties from Jessica Simpson so that's it for this lookbook slash haul if you guys liked it then please give it a thumbs up below and make sure to subscribe to my channel along with Olivia's and check out her video which I will link below as well so yeah, thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.